Mm. That's a pimple. So, um, I made up my mind that I will be redoing my hair soon. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do these again. Just retwit, rebraid it. I ain't never do that before. I usually just take it out and just redo it because I'm real particular about my parts and stuff. But I'm gonna try that. See, see how it goes. But um, hmm. I just been noticing a lot of things about men. Like with this whole uh, Nateri situation, like I heard somebody say that um, it's going to come into question about her being a prostitute or escort, about her history and stuff like that. And, um, why though because i feel like if you are a prostitute and you don't want to give consent you say no then that should be respected period like when i talk about this situation i'm not talking about that aspect at all like i don't care what um Nateri used to do I don't care. And the only reason I mentioned that Aya used to be a prostitute in one of my videos is because um, because I feel like uh, Alihio took advantage of that when she was deaf. But I don't feel like a prostitute is not able to say no. Do I question the Terry intentions? I do. Um, do I feel like she allowed herself to be victimized for a profit, a gain or something in ways? Yes. But um, I personally feel like Anybody who has sex with Alihio, especially while he was running this cult, um, it's been rape because he been, of course, horsing people into it. So even if somebody is coming down as an opportunist, um, they still went through that process. And I'm pretty sure that anybody saying no to anything there is a danger. People feel like they can't say no to him. Also, it's really hurtful to see like just lack of compassion for women in general. But it seems like they have more compassion for men. I told myself I ain't gonna say no names in this particular video, so I'm not gonna do it. But that's really alarming. That's really alarming. And then the fact that men stop feeling like all women should be protected but they don't feel the same way about men. They will feel like all men should be protected, but when it comes to women, only particular women should be protected. Women that are not considered hoes and shit like that, only those type of women deserve to be protected. And that's a fucked up mentality. But yet, a man could dead ass be out here being a fucking devil and would gain more sympathy and understanding from these motherfuckers than a woman who is getting her ass beat. 
that shit is like fucked up to me on all levels. <laughs> mm -mm. Hell, motherfucking all. Also, um, I hear I heard somebody say that. People who report and it's hurting the case. I don't agree with that. It's common for a case to get on the news and people to come out and start reporting on it. Yeah, a lot of those people are opportunists. All of them, you know, all of them are opportunists, including myself, because, you know, I could say what I want, but you gain some type of um, recognition from reporting on it. That's the motherfucking truth. But people do what they want with that energy. Some people ain't doing shit. They just reporting. It's just entertainment. I, I have less respect for them. Some people want to come and transmute that energy. That's me. I want to heal transmute some people want to bring justice to that energy and they've been doing that i mean shit they've been collecting evidence they've been doing something to help protect to help bring awareness Because I don't feel like Alihio should have been ignored. Because he was becoming more and more abusive. People lost their lives over there. People lost babies over there. He did some really fucked up shit. I don't understand. It's like men don't want to even look at that. So it made me feel like you don't want to look at yourself. You must feel like you resonate with that energy in some form or fashion. And that is scary. That is motherfucking scary. And I know that like in the hood, right? That's why Alihio even want to attract those type of people because they know that this is a, a section of a hood mentality, you know? Unstall from that shit because it ain't right because people are getting hurt from it. And because, you know... At any part of the activity, if you stop consenting, it's important. I don't give a fuck if you stop, if you consented in the beginning. But as things progress and as you getting uncomfortable and you want to not give consent no more, you should be able to do that. And, you know, I, I feel like some dudes, right, because I came across this be like um they feel like they seen a lot of their homeboys go down from girls lying about certain shit da, 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 da. and I believe them I do but it's other factors to that it is. <laughs> Why was your homeboy having sex with her? With somebody like that? Probably somebody he didn't even really know. He didn't re he didn't even really get to know her. He couldn't have because she was able to claim rape so 
she wouldn't be able to do that if that was somebody, it wouldn't be that easy if it was somebody he was in a relationship with. One time, somebody, uh, they ran a train on a girl and the girl gave consent that it could do that. But later on, um, she reported it. She could have been coerced into that position because I have seen that done. How old was this girl? Was she underage? Because young girls are naive as fuck. So it's a lot of motherfucking factors. Your homeboy ain't just innocent, you know? I mean, I don't give a fuck like with that one girl after she went home and felt that energy on her body and she went over how she even got into that position. Maybe she felt like at one point there was um, confusion or she was cohorts. Hey, boo -boo. So maybe at one point she realized that she really is a victim of something. But why was your, your homeboy there? Why was your homeboy doing that? It's really hurtful to see men talk like this and they find any reason to make us the villain. But, you know, not all men are like that, for sure. And, um, but I do feel like, like, if you're dating or something, it should be a conversation that you have. You still have to be careful, especially if you're public, because motherfuckers will tell you, what they think you want to hear. No, it ain't even what that they be telling you whatever it takes in order to get close to you and not being honest. So, and then as you get to know you, at, as you get to know them, you will learn that they go by totally different ideologies, you know? <laughs> God damn. People be fake as fuck, fake as fuck. 